PPE, the personal protective equipment. Masks, gloves, coveralls, hoods, goggles, and face shields. These are the life-saving barriers standing between the highly contagious coronavirus and the frontline health workers. In the year 2020, COVID-19 struck Uganda. Like in many parts of the country, the unsung heroes here at Fort Porto Regional Referral Hospital were required to brace for the battle against the disease. A lot of patients were coming from the community. So many were sick. We had to establish a treatment center. Running to CTUs was not easy. That means in a day, in every shift, you would have 20, 20 people at one. So the consumption of the PPE was So to find that we are getting running out of stock very fast. Working at the front line of the pandemic response required more than bravery. It required access to quality PPE in order to continue working safely and save their patients. We do not have the protecting, protecting gears, the masks. We used to be in our pockets to buy the masks. As the numbers grew, the demand for quality assured PPE skyrocketed, leading to severe supply restraints. And we have to write very frequently to Minister of Health. Occasionally, we will be asked to go and pick from the Minister of Health stores, and what you will pick wouldn't last for the month. We used to reuse, and my worry was to get different infections because of reusing masks. To improve this situation, UNICEF led a joint tender on behalf of 13 United Nations agencies to establish long-term agreements for the supply of PPE. These agreements not only improved affordability and access, but also helped to prevent the risk of stockouts during future health crises. I think as we, get, we got more organized as a ministry with the support of the partners, like uh, UNICEF, other UN agencies, then we started receiving a better consignment, a better and a regular consignment of PPEs. Actually, from uh, in the second wave, particularly in the second wave, when these things were more streamlined, we have not been able to experience uh, any shortages of PPEs. At least we are, we are safe since the start of the COVID-19 outbreak, UNICEF has shipped almost half a billion items of personal protective equipment to protect frontline healthcare workers around the world, this hospital being one of them. The threat of disease outbreaks has not gone away. PPE remains an indispensable supply item as part of health emergencies preparedness and response against potentially fatal communicable diseases. UNICEF continues to ship PPE to support countries as part of their infection prevention and control planning against emerging pathogens like COVID-19. This is made possible thanks to funding secured through the US Bureau of Population, Refugees and migration.